Hey everyone, welcome back. In this particular video, we are going to see basics and working of the Evil Gen X, right? So, if you are watching this particular video, then you might know what exactly Evil Gen X is. And if I ask you what is Evil Gen X, you might say that Evil Gen X is a tool or let's say framework which uh, converts original website into the phishing website. Basically, we can take any original website, we can add into the Evil Gen X, and it will create the phishing website uh, out of that, right? exactly right but how exactly it is happening what is happening in the back end so why it is so important what is happening in the back end because in future let's say you want to do more customization in the phishing website how will you do it for that you need to understand what is happening in the back end how exactly the original website it is getting converted into the phishing website so once you understand this process then you might add your own customization in this particular process, right? So that's why it is important to know how exactly Evil Genix functions, how exactly Evil Genix works, right? So yeah, without wasting time, let's get started. Okay, so let's say uh, you already know that we need one server or we need one VPS. What is a VPS? virtual private server it is a server but there is a term called vps so on this particular vps we are going to set up evil genix i'll just write ev because i don't have a space but yeah evil genix and what exactly evil genix is going to do that this is suppose this is original uh, website okay i misspelled the original but that's okay and let's say this is the fake website or let's say phishing website that we are going to create so basically what this uh what this evil genix does is it will take the original website and it will create the phishing version of that particular website and it will give us that particular phishing website that means if the original website is on xyz.com then we can convert the using evil genix and we can create the phishing website that we can host in our own domain name let's say uh, evil.com okay evil.com that's just an example okay evil.com it is just an example so okay so that's what we can do using the evil genix and the original website and the evil website will look exactly pinpoint same Okay, user will not able to differentiate between the evil genius website or phishing website that we created and the original website. Okay, so how exactly it is happening? So in the evil genius, so let's try to decode the evil genius and let's try to explain what exactly happening inside the evil genius. So for this, I'll make this particular server little bit bigger so that I will have space to explain. So this particular connection will not go through like this as simple. Okay. So what exactly is happening in the connection? So when we set up the evil Genix, what it does is it creates one web server. What is a web server? Web server is nothing but the software which hosts the uh, files of the website like nginx like apache like open light speed right so these are the web server so i'll say web server and it will create reverse proxy connection what is a reverse proxy connection reverse proxy connection means if i host something on the local on on this particular computer how will i uh, expose that to the network or how will i expose that to the real world so that anyone can access it so what we do is we send this local connection to the this uh, web server let's say nginx nginx and then it will convert to the global connection okay so this is how the reverse proxy works basically it will take the uh, local connection and it will connect something so that it will convert into the global connection right so this is how the reverse proxy works so what exactly evil genix does is it will make the original website reverse proxy connection of the this particular website let me give you an example so basically connection will come from the original website it will go to the nginx and then nginx will convert to the uh, uh, 
रिवर्स प्रॉक्सी ग्लोबल कनेक्शन एंड इट विल गो टू दिस पर्टिकुलर वेबसाइट ओके सो दिस इज हाउ ओवर सिंप्लीफाइड एग्जाम्पल वर्क ओके बट इन डिटेल वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज है बिफोर क्रिएटिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर कनेक्शन राइट हियर वॉट इज दिस क्रिएटिंग इज इट इज क्रिएटिंग अ टेम्पररी ब्राउजर ऑन यूर लोकल ओके दिस ब्राउजर विल बी नॉट विजिबल टू यू एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर ब्राउजर इट इज लोडिंग एक्स वाई जेड डॉट कॉम एंड विच इज दिस पर्टिक्युलर वेबसाइट बाय दी दिस इज ओरिजिनल एक्स वाई जेड डॉट कॉम इट विल लोड दैट एक्स वाई जेड डॉट कॉम इन दिस पर्टिकुलर ब्राउजर एंड वॉट एवर इज हैपनिंग इन दिस ब्राउजर इट विल कैप्चर इट एंड इट विल सेंड थ्रू द रिवर्स प्रॉक्सी एंड इट विल शो सेंड टू द फिशिंग वेबसाइट ओके सो दिस इज हाउ द evil genix works and obviously we have one file called fishlet so this is like a rule book where we will mention what we need to do with the uh, fishing website right so basically this will take uh, this particular uh, uh, fishing uh, or fishlet also which will basically state the rules how to operate okay so in the fishlet we can mention that okay create the uh, phishing website of the original website which is xyz.com the second rule might be let's say in the fishlet uh, i need to replace all name xyz with the all name evilgenix or let's say evil.com okay then i i will mention that replace the xyz images on the original website with the uh, any other images on the uh, evil website okay so yeah these all the rules will be written right here in the fishlet similarly we have another file called db file or you can say database file so what exactly database file will do suppose uh, uh, someone fall uh, into our trap and someone enters the login credentials right here okay login credential then that login credentials come right here and it will go to into the proxy but before going that it should filter and capture those raw login credentials and save into the database right so that's where the database files comes in another file is there called config file so what is a config file basically it will derive the config of the whole this process that means who, who is a server who is a phishing domain who is the original domain who is doing what so everything will be added in this particular configuration file so we have the configuration file we have the fishlet file where the rules are there we have database file where we can save or capture the credentials and cookies then we have the invisible browser in which the website original website is loaded and we have obviously the web server which is creating the reverse proxy connection okay so yeah this is how the evil genix works one last final uh, workflow what we do is basically in this particular fishlet we will say create phishing website of this particular xyz.com we will add a rule uh, necessary on this particular fishlet once we add the fishlet uh, rules in the fishlet it will create this particular small browser in the local which will be invisible in which it will load this particular xyz.com it will understand xyz.com it will take xyz.com file and then it will expose that xyz.com it will expose that xyz.com on the evil domain which is evil.com and once someone enters the credentials on evil.com or bad website it will come to the this particular reverse proxy but before coming to the reverse proxy it will filter all of that data and save in the db in case if someone is entering the username or password or cookies we will have that store in the database and then it will send to this particular browser and the browser will send to the original website server and this is how the complete connection will be made so this is how exactly the evil genix works i know this process is not uh, simplified as it looks it is little bit complex but yeah the good designs or good systems has complex designs and we need to understand it in our way so yeah this is our way and i try to explain in over in simplified example if you still have uh, issue with uh, my explanation you didn't understand then what you can do is you can go to the google and you can type reverse proxy and once understand what is a reverse proxy 
So once you understand the reverse proxy, you will understand the evil Jennings also because evil Jennings is nothing but the reverse proxy. But in that particular reverse proxy, they have added one, two, three more files so that uh, the management will be a little bit easier. Okay. So yeah, that's all in this particular video. If you have any doubt, uh, you know what to do and uh, see you in the next.